breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Our brother, and I did call Pastor Giwa. He said he don't look into the spiritual realm. He says he called the look, he called the see something, he called clar clarity, he called coming to a sight. He can't get more clarification. Say, we well, say, Tinubu not be the right person for Nigeria. He said he be the thing can before, but until clarification come, and time say, my say, call really see and say, wow. You know, who exactly what is going on here? Say, can't really get the clarity, call clear. Could be like night and they say, wow. So, what exactly has been going on? That's what the T call be. Say, when they call Luca, they say Tinubu not be the right person. Say, another person win. Now, they just put Tinubu for there. With nice, some people call the one that say, you just didn't know. Oh, they just break your antenna, just open. Wow. You just get some light bulb moment. Wow, that's interesting. Where? Interesting as it may be. You know, those things where we say in the do we be say it be like say get away with her, uh, it do they affect some other area. People do they see and say we say all oh, that glitters is no good. He does see and for you very unsafe. So everybody call the look the matter. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Breaking news Tinubu, not right choice of Nigeria. Pastor Giwa reveal shocking revelation. Now, the revelation when you see. Would you make a talk straight with the talk so now we do the here just now? So a shocking revelation not be smart, you know. Let's get all the details. Senior pastor of awaiting second coming of Christ ministry, Adewale Giwa, on Sunday said he was not expecting anything tangible from the president Bola Metinubu's government. He declared that President Bola Metinubu was not the choice of Nigerians in the last presidential election. Addressing members of his church in Akure on Sunday, Pastor Giwa alleged that the candidate who Nigerians voted for was deliberately rigged out. Tenobu himself, he knows. He was never the choice, he knows. But the whole but clergy challenged President Tinobu to prove his critical his critics wrong by turning around the social economic situation in the country before it can be accepted. Speaking on state of the nation, he warned those who put their trust in Tinubu's government that they will be disappointed beyond disappointment. Now, I like that line, disappointed beyond disappointment. Wow. The clergy said, I am not surprised seeing President Tinubu's administration failing already. I told Nigerians would, that they would go from bad to worse. They thought Buhari was bad. What are you experiencing? It, is, it has not even started. They have brains but they cannot figure out what to do with the betterment of the people and the country at large. Are we beggars that you will be paying 8,000 Naira monthly? You want to treat Nigerians the way you treat your... your is, it, that's, is that enough money to buy your dog food? You sincerely remove wealth subsidy and you fought against those administration of good luck Ibele Jonathan who was trying to remove it gradually. What do you expect to happen? Thereafter, that's the same thing you now do. You are such a corny man. And we knew, but the people never listen. The poor masses are the one now feeling the heat. Why he's enjoying petroleum-free charge. He, he, he does not go through any of the things people are going through correctly today. He's enjoying himself massively. Why the people are suffering. This is a man who came on the back that subsidy was a bad thing. But today, he dwells in subsidy. What a shame and what a disgrace. This is not the kind of person that Nigeria should take. He's not Nigerian's choice at all. The poor masses are the ones feeling the heat. However, if he, he can still turn things around, he lost Lagos State, Kaduna, Castina. How did they manage to declare him the winner? He did not win Lagos. He did not win Kaduna, Castina, Kanu. So how did he become the winner? Prove your haters wrong. Spring a wind of surprise. Surprise the people. Become, become the friends of your enemy. And see how Nigerians will push you out. You know you did not win. You know it very well. So now Pastor Giwa and I did talk since. And I for sure she for talk. He said when he looked the spirit and when he see who the people vote for. And what it will do to the person. He said he ain't tired. He said because he ain't tired away away. I said because Tinubu no say no win. And Nigerians no say Tinubu no win. You know, everybody, so everybody know each other. Everybody know each other they do. Everybody know each other very well. He says, so what Tinubu they do so, he know they right. Me nobody 
can't and join anything we say you go we know they make sense is it because this team Tinubu now fight against good luck Jonathan administration like say tomorrow no day if fight and hands down say Jonathan not qualify to say one remove up swap subsidy blah blah he do many things in fact he shamed Jonathan he, he, he now lead the protest the protest he led the protest say where say na scheme uh, na scam Jonathan won't do with subsidy we say they remove now so he do so many things you know lie to the people and did so many things but where are we today? That very same man is the person now who is uh, who is currently, you know, who is currently lying to every single person and making sure that you know he he presents himself, you know, as one who 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 is a, who is a good person. He said Nigerians know, okay? Nigerians are very much aware of all the schemes and antics and tactics they are trying to play. See, Nigerians are just watching. They know exactly what he's trying to do. Well, my people, we cannot give up. We can't. Can we give up? No, now. We have to keep fighting. We just have to keep fighting because enough is enough. We cannot allow the same thing happen again and again. The issue is that as you see things, this is the way they are. And every single person needs to ensure that we are, we are, we are rising up to the occasion and then we are doing everything, humanly speaking, possible to bring us right back on track. Nigerians, the days of pretending that all is well, you know, and suffering but smiling, you know, that, that days are over. Every single person has a, has a part to play, okay? Every single person has a part to play so that we can truly, you know, we can truly make a, you know, make a lot of difference and bring Nigeria to where it ought to be. If you look at the case of what is going on, you will understand that we do not, you know, we do not stand in the same place where we allow people who have nothing to offer to continue to be, you know, the ones who are who are leading us and guiding us. We just need to put this country right back on track by speaking out on everything that is wrong. Can you see that Nigeria needs to move forward? Can you see that we need to really move forward and bring this nation to where it needs to be? So it is what it is. If there's anything we must all do, is ensuring that we do things correctly and right. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, is bye for now.